Hi, today we're going to do an in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to set up Beam Eye Tracker for driving simulators, specifically Euro Truck Simulator 2. We'll cover every supported camera type, camera placement and setup, how to install and tweak Beam Eye Tracker as well as Open Truck, and finally, give you a nice tip for Euro Truck Simulator 2. You will find the link in the description for all the software needed. Beam Eye Tracker is around 30 bucks, but you can get it with a 10% discount using the link in the description and this discount code. The offer is available for the next 10 days from the upload of this video, but you also have a Steam demo for free if you want to try it out first. I've already done a review of Beam Eye Tracker, so to learn more about its features and functionality, you'll have to check out that video first. Today we're focusing on eye tracking, camera movement and how to set up everything together. So what you need is a webcam or a smartphone, beam eye tracker to ensure accurate eye tracking, open track which is going to take the tracking signal from beam and utilize it within the game so that your eye and head movement are translated into camera movement on all the axes inside the simulator but for now make sure you install beam eye tracker just as I said, can also be the demo version. When it comes to the supported camera input, you have a couple of options. First one is the webcam, it can be an internal laptop webcam or an external one. There is a list of suggested webcams on their website, in short, it works with cheap cameras like Logitech C270HD, but the higher the resolution and frame rate, the smoother the tracking results are going to be. For instance, I use the Logitech C920 which has 1080p resolution and 30fps refresh rate and I am very satisfied with the tracking results. But Beam Eye Tracker supports cameras up to 120fps and that's certainly going to offer a smoother tracking. When it comes to placement, I recommend setting the camera above your screen because if you're using Beam with a driving simulator, chances that you own a steering wheel as well and while turning it, your hands might obstruct the camera. And generally, you need to have the camera as clear of obstructions as possible. In the case of a webcam, the setup is pretty straightforward. Just plug in the webcam and while going through the quick setup, select the camera under the device section. The second camera option is an iPhone with Face ID, which is going to benefit from the 3D sensor for more accurate tracking. In this case, you'll need the Beam Eye Tracker app on your iPhone. Once installed, set it to streaming. Select the Beam Eye Tracker iOS app under Input Device on Beam PC app. Then set Device Connection method to IP Address Input. Type the address from the iPhone app into the PC app and it should now work. For Android devices with Android 14 or later, there is a native webcam feature. So by connecting the phone via USB, there should be a screen asking what the connection is for. There should be a webcam option to select. This way, the phone should now appear under the input device section in Beam Eye Tracker. Last but not least, for older Androids or iPhones, there is this camo app that will transform your smartphone into a webcam. To install it, follow the instructions offered by Camo, and once it is up and running, you should be able to select it under the input device in Beam Eye Tracker. My suggestion is to find a phone monitor mount to use the phone as a webcam, but you could also improvise. Just make sure the camera is not obstructed or too far away from your face. Also, preferably, I've noticed it works better when the camera sensor is aligned with the center of the monitor. Once you have the input device set up, as well as the resolution and frame rate, you can proceed to the second page of the quick setup. Select the camera position according to your setup and hit next. On this page, you should select the way your camera is facing. In my case, it has a 20 degrees down tilt. On the next page, you should already see the eye tracker working. Once you hit start, you will initiate the calibration process. Follow the instructions on the screen and complete the calibration. As for the general settings of Beam Eye Tracker, first thing you need to do is to activate the gaming extensions. This will allow OpenTrack to work with Beam Eye Tracker. Speaking of which, the next step involves OpenTrack. I will leave a link in the description for this software along with the Beam Eye Tracker profile for OpenTrack. Once you have this app opened as well, select the input method to iWare Beam. Now download the profile mentioned earlier, open the configuration directory 
move the downloaded file into this folder and select it inside the OpenTrack app. And now there are two setting options. First, you may leave all the settings just as they are and see how it works. In your case, it's decent, but in my opinion, it could be smoother. So I came up with my own pack of tweakings for the two applications. So these are the settings within Beam Eye Tracker, with the mention that if you want head tracking only, you can select it here. And these are the settings in OpenTrack, just make sure the filter is EWMA with these values. Also, you must replicate these curve values on your side as well. Just try setting the points as similar to mine as possible. In addition, set the max input and turn off asymmetric mapping. The other options are just like this. Another important thing, you should set up a centering key. OpenTrack allows it to be mapped even on your steering wheel, this is going to recenter the tracking if it happens to get misaligned with your actual eyes position. Once everything is set up, just hit start tracking, open Eurotrack Simulator 2 and should work by default. Other games may require manual activation of the tracking inside the game. As you can see, my settings allow both for slow and smooth camera movement, as well as fast, precise and sudden movement. I also have a bonus trick for you, as standard, ETS2 only allow for yo, pitch and position, but if you also want roll motion, you will need to first activate the console and then type a specific command. So go to the documents, Eurotrack Simulator 2, scroll down to config, open it with notepad, now scroll down and find developer and set it to 1, then config and set it to 1 as well. Go back to the game, press this key and type the following command. This is going to enable the roll axis on your tracking. So that's about it, your tracking should now work like a charm. Once you decide purchasing this product, don't forget about the limited time discount using the link in the description and the discount code. It can be used on their website for the next 10 days. So enjoy your eye tracker and until the next one, stay tuned.